morning and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Gian, and in tonight's top stories, we turn to St. Thomas early, 1 o'clock in the morning, Lower Main Street, a double homicide. News Channel 8's Lee Carl takes us there. This is a bar on Lower Main Street in Prinzengata called Double Play. A double shooting, if you will. i sorry the play on the words there. But uh, two persons are dead following a shooting incident. They were cousins. This is the bar where the young man fell, and this is the chair he was sitting in. And apparently, uh, he uh, they had an altercation of some sort. One man fired on his cousin, then left for a moment, and then came back. And after he saw what he did, he took the gun allegedly to his head and fired. Police Chief Rodney Carrard said that they had very preliminary information and couldn't release the names of the persons at this time. But I spoke to him on the phone. We got a call this morning uh, after 1 o'clock of uh, a shooting down in the area of the double play bar from Vincent's daughter. Uh, police responded and uh, we got on the scene and we find that found that two individuals uh, had passed uh, wounds uh, to the body. Um, again, this is prelim preliminary. I just walked in the house. I've been out from uh, after 1 this morning and uh, that is all we really have right now. But we can say the individuals are uh, of Spanish descent, uh, and they uh, and again they they were uh, uh, they did pass at the they were fatal wounds, right? In other words, they died of the gunshots. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. I uh, again uh, I'm just hearing from other sources that uh, one man walked into a bar, fired on another, and then took the gun to himself. Well, right now, like I said, the investigation is preliminary, preliminary and when. So we, we do have uh, made a one scene, and they, um, I'm pretty sure they're still out there uh, canvassing and so forth. And they... Names of the two persons were not released immediately because of next of notification of next of kin. And again, the investigation is underway. The uh, police chief asked anyone with any further information to call the regular police numbers or 911. In St. Thomas, Lee Carr from News Channel 8. And also making headlines this morning, shots rang out on the big island of St. Croix in the Cyan Farm area. News Channel 8's Wes Small, returning from sabbatical, gives us this report. We're here in Cyan Farm, and at around 4.30 this morning, shots rang out. Here's what we have, according to VIPD spokesperson Melody Rames. At about 4.30 this morning in this area here at Cyan Farm by the ballpark, a 23-year-old man was shot twice in both arms. First indications was he had took a shot in his face, um, but according to Melody, he was shot in both arms. Uh, looks like the upper shoulders. Uh, both shots non-life-threatening. That is good news. Um, he was shot by an unknown male suspect, again, at around 4.30 this morning. If you know anything about this crime, then you should call 778-2211 or 911. Once again, shots ringing out in the Cyan Farm area here. A 23-year-old man shot twice in his upper body, apparently non-threatening. If we have any more information on the story, we will get right to it. Right now, let's go to Crime Stoppers. <laughs> Crime Stoppers. Today is Wednesday. As we do every Wednesday, we do Crime Stoppers. Let's start right here on St. Croix. Police are looking for anyone who is involved with cultivating, dealing in drugs, involved in gun trafficking, or buying or selling stolen property. In St. John, police are looking for information on the person or persons who have been stealing dinghies from the Coral Bay area. Police in St. Thomas, as you know, they had a double homicide this morning, so I'm sure they're looking for those suspects. They're also looking for someone who did an attempted robbery in a state, Nelpburg. I think I said that right. And that happened Friday, February 20th at about 10.15 in the morning as two masked gunmen attempted to rob an individual driving a vehicle and fired several shots at that car. One suspect is five foot four with a medium build. The other is about six feet tall with a slim build. These suspects were wearing all black clothing with their faces covered. Now, so far, Crime Stoppers, they're very happy to report four new tips 
this week. According to law enforcement coordinator Lieutenant Thomas Hanna, that brings the total tip number to 34. Also, I want to remind you that if you see crimes happen in your area, you should call 1-800-222-TIPS. That's 1-800-222-8477. Don't forget, you can get up to $2,500 in cash, and probably more important, you get the bad guys off the street. Earlier this week, we gave you part one of an interview with Gloria Joseph, island historian and author. Now we give you part two. Here's T. Roy Augustin covering the issue. What I have here is the book that you actually wrote, and it's a time and step reunion with Glory Road. If anyone needed to get this, where would they get it from? Well, the book will be on sale at the bookstores in on the island of St. Croix. That's the uh, uh, book nook and um, store in Sunny Isles and um, the treasure chest. So all the bookstores in St. Croix will have the book. Okay, could you tell me a little more about this book? Okay, very briefly, the book takes place in heaven. Those persons <laughs> who were historical characters in real life have departed and the concept of the book is these characters meet in heaven and they divide into communities. In each community, for example, in athletes' arenas, I bring in all the dead historical figures that people should know about but don't know the true story. So it's educational in the sense that it's very enjoyable reading and yet it's very factual. For example, everyone knows Babe Ruth, right? Yeah. How many of them know Josh Gibson? Josh Gibson was a black ball player whose feats were equal to Babe Ruth. However, we know in the book you will find out all about Babe Ruth. The same with Amelia Earhart, the aviatrix who, whose um, death is still unexplained. At the same time, there was a black woman named Bessie Coleman. And Bessie Coleman is also in the book talking with Amelia Earhart. Josh Gibson talked with Babe Ruth. In musicians, I have um, Mahalia Jackson talking with Tupac Shakur. See, <laughs> they talk about their lives. I have a, there's a time gazer up there that beams down on the earth and the people in the heavens in their communities see what's going on and they have conversations about it, such as, you know, Vic and his dog fighting. Well, they talk about that. And the women who led the dog sled riding, team riding, is um, very upset about what Vic did, so they talk about that. Let's not get him too much. You know, we want we want them to read the book for themselves. We definitely want to get him to read the book for themselves. Um, they're going to be having a book signing on the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth of March. Am right, I correct? Right. That's correct. There'll be a book signing at um, let's see, the um, book nook in Gallows Bay. I think that's what it's called. And then there'll be a, one at Pirank Institute in Frederickstead, and then at. Lalita's, the health store, well, the restaurant, the be a book signing there. Okay, so this book is mainly, mainly I should say, uh, commemoration of the past and the present, because you're telling me about people that, you know, in present they are going through some struggles. Right, right, right. So, well, in conclusion, what I really appreciate about the book is the comments from the critics are from persons not just in St. Croix, but Worldwide, nationwide people have made comments, like the head of the Africana Studies at um, Cornell University, Sonia Sanchez, international known poet. And what they have to say about the book really encouraged me. It made me feel very good about the book because it means that it, as they say, the book is very inspira inspirational and a must read for everyone. Because it's not just for blacks. Because black, there is no black history without white history, and there is no black and white history without world history. What I'm going to tell you guys right now, and everyone that is watching this tonight, is that put down the Zane book and come and get this book. This is a must read for Black History Month once again. I'm T. Roy for News Channel 8. Thanks, T. Roy. When we come back from this break, more news. Stay with us.